You know, football is war. You know, every game is a new battle. Whether you're at your home and you're defending your field, or you go somewhere else and you're trying to take that field, when you do, when you win, there is no better feeling. You know, it's always nice to have alternatives. Having one thing dominate the landscape and nothing else is boring in my opinion. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to watch some A uh, football. The Birmingham Iron are on tonight. Shit. Ever since EA locked down the exclusive rights to make NFL games in 2005, we haven't had any competition in football video games. 2K made an attempt in 2008 with All Pro Football 2008, but haven't made anything since. We had some other entries such as a Blitz game where you can literally tear your testicles and inject steroids into you during gameplay. Sick. In 2007, it was announced that Natural Motion Games would be making a football game. This already grabbed a lot of people's attention because Natural Motion are the guys behind the Euphoria engine that was used in GTA 4. This makes perfect sense, really. One of the biggest complaints about Madden, even still to this day, is the canned animations. A lot of times, two players can get stuck in an animation, and the animation is just locked to those two players. No one else can come in and stop it, and the animation can repeat itself multiple times per game. Backbreaker's main selling point, on the other hand, is to have every tackle be different, and everyone can get involved in the play. The Euphoria engine can achieve this. That, or make everyone look like they're drunk. Later on, Natural Motion put out early gameplay video. Wow, this looks really good. Can't wait to play it. Yeah, Backbreaker would take a little while to get released. During that time, they would release more trailers hyping up the engine and the tackles and the whatnot, but something completely unexpected happened next. The hardcore football gaming community actually started to break down the gameplay and analyze it. People at this point, you have to understand, were sick and tired of the same exact experience Madden was offering year after year after year. So if Backbreaker were to fail, then there would be no other football game for anyone to play besides Madden. This game, Backbreaker, actually started to form a little community. Okay, my guys come over. Boom. Boom. Put a hand across the plane, his own man makes a fumble. Only in Backbreaker, fellas. Yeah, this is why I love Backbreaker, because the realism of it. All right, check it out. Mission the stiff arm, helmet on the ball, fumble. I'm trying to go for a dive into the end zone with the five yard line. And I get hit right there, I get hit in mid air, carried in mid air. Hell no, Madden won't beat this at all. Backbreaker all the way, let's go. Vulnerable. Boom. Boom. That's football right there. He comes in, he gets hit low, coughs up the ball. The second safety comes in and lays just a little bit of a hit on as well. What I want to see exactly in terms of a football game. Take a look at the tangle of the feet. I mean, you see in Madden, the feet just goes through players' bodies and things of that sort. It's unrealistic. If you look, this linebacker is trying to take me out. And look how he hits my arm, <laughs> and the arm moves. See ya, man. Brings a tear to your eye, doesn't it? See? But let's ignore all the bias that one might have for this game because of Madden. Let's actually look at this game for what it is. On June 1st, 2010, Backbreaker would launch. I didn't edit this music in. The game comes with it. 
So this is Backbreaker. Like I said, the game doesn't have the NFL license, so it has all these fake teams. And most of them are pretty alright, I guess. I mean, yeah, that's kind of... <gasps> oh. My. God. This game already went above and beyond my expectations, everyone. They literally have the greatest football team ever in here. I mean, this is some Back to the Future type shit. Playing Backbreaker is unlike any football game I've ever played. So you say to yourself, wow, I don't know what's going on, and this looks like a confusing mess. And that's because it is. Backbreaker breaks the norms of football video game cameras to give you an up-close perspective, similar to what you would see in Madden Superstar mode or Road to the Show. Now, let's talk about this. I like what Backbreaker was attempting to do here, because in sports games, it's not always about what you see, it's about what you don't see as well. In zone coverage, you have designated areas, and it's about reading the quarterback and reacting to the ball. In Madden, ball hawking is the most ridiculously unrealistic thing I've ever seen in my whole life, because you can track every receiver with this camera. You see an open man, you straight from in front of him, and you cover him. In Backbreaker, it's very satisfying to get a sack. Or stuff a run. Or make a pick. Or play corner. I like this. But it has its flaws though. You oftentimes lose the ball with all the chaos. Switching between players is one of the things that makes this confusing because you essentially teleport to another dude who's already in the process of doing his own thing. So you're kind of disoriented for a second. As far as the camera on offense, it's horrible. It's close behind the back like defense, but it doesn't work the same way. When you're quarterback, you scan the field with the right analog stick. The receiver glowing red is the person you're targeting, and the guys glowing yellow are the other potential targets. Now, this doesn't work because you can't choose your option quickly. You have to individually cycle each option. So there are a lot of times when I'm trying to go to a secondary option, but I'm too late. It just takes too long to cycle through each individual guy. It's worth to mention that you throw the ball by pushing the right analog stick up. That's a huge disadvantage with throwing the ball. It's just not efficient, especially when I'm accidentally switching between targets when I push the right analog stick up. In Backbreaker, there are three different modes you can be in. Regular mode, focus mode with the L2 button, and aggressive mode with the R2 button. Each mode is different depending on what position you're playing. While playing defense, focus mode always has the camera on the ball. This is actually really helpful. It makes things a little less confusing. Aggressive mode makes you sprint, meaning you're faster, yeah, but you're harder to control as well. When you're running with the ball, the right analog stick controls jukes. The controls change depending on what mode you're in. So for instance, if you go to aggressive mode, pushing the right stick to the left or to the right makes you stiff arm in that direction. My issue is, look at how fast everything happens here. Do you think I have time to change into different modes and do alterations with the right analog stick? I really don't understand why does playing a football game have to be a fucking science project. On top of that, movement is pretty odd too. You can't really turn upfield or make any kind of cuts outside of juking with the right analog stick. Let's say you're running forward and immediately point the stick in the opposite direction. You wouldn't slow down or quickly attempt to cut in that direction but instead, you do this wide turn in that direction. It's the oddest thing I've ever seen in terms of movement. It's almost like how you control horses in games. That's the only thing I can compare it to. But look, for quarterbacking, it's even worse. Focus mode zooms everything in so you see even less of the field. But doing so increases your accuracy so it's almost vital to use it. Offense in this game is a mess. Screw it, I'm just gonna play online. A little slow today, huh boys? It must be a holiday or something. Let's talk about the Euphoria engine and how it works in this game. 
This is the main reason I want another backbreaker game, to be honest with you. This is awesome. Tackling is the most satisfying thing. No, 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 wait, wait, wait. Trucking somebody is the most satisfying thing. No, 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 no. Jumping over a pile is the most satisfying thing. The Euphoria engine was used to perfection in this game. It's almost flawless. The only gripes I have with it is that you always seem to run into your offensive lineman when you're running the ball, and you can be taken out by your own blockers inadvertently. If only there was a mode where you could run the ball, rack up score, and avoid multiple waves of guys. This mode is fun. Completing the mode is hard by itself, but trying for the point areas are an even extra challenge. This lasts a hundred waves, and I did it. Nine years ago. Well, damn, I guess I suck now. You can also create your own teams in Backbreaker with the logo editor. You can do some pretty interesting stuff with it. Here's the Birmingham Iron logo I made. Wow, I can't tell which is which. I'm like the least artistic guy I know. So here are some teams I downloaded years ago. You can even take them into the game season mode and assign them into a league and make your own league. Two conferences with four divisions. Here's your NFL game, everyone. The fact that the game does this is amazing. The season mode is very limited, though. You can scout players and sign free agents. What? Yeah, that explains it. But you can't trade people. There's no player progression. You can't even simulate games, which is like the basic necessity of any sports game ever. Now it's time to look at what this game does well and not so well. Starting off, the offensive line actually blocks defenders. There's no suction blocks and they're actually double teams. The playbook sucks all kinds of ass. There's only a handful of formations and there's only one draw play from shotgun. One draw play. Wow. No empty backfield, no bunch, spread, or 4-6. When tackling, players actually grab hold of other players, which makes things actually look like tackling and not just guys running into each other. I like it. Most of the time. <laughs> You can't throw on the run in this game. What? I mean, uh, what? Ball carriers actually reach for the first down marker and the end zone. I don't think I've ever seen this outside of canned animations and Madden games. Presentation is non-existent. Backbreaker's idea of presentation is to just show replays of everything. Fumbles feel pretty natural. You actually knock the ball out of their hands. Every player is the same height and they all have dark visors so you can't even see their face. It's oddly satisfying to hear people zipping past you when you run. There are no injuries in this game. The game is called Backbreaker for God's sake. The CPU pump faking here to draw me off a defender is great recognition by the CPU. The replay system is the most bare bones thing ever. It's awful. Okay, well that's Backbreaker ever- wait. Three months after the launch of Backbreaker, a significant patch was released. It fixed and improved things like a new replay system, more plays and formations, another view for QB play, and AI tweaks, among other things. Considering the sales that this game had, they didn't have to do this. But they did it anyway for the Backbreaker community. The patch, called Great House, was actually named after a community member. You can say Backbreaker was a mediocre attempt at an American football game by some Brits, and you wouldn't necessarily be wrong by saying that, but if anything, this patch showed that they actually cared and had heart. Unfortunately, Backbreaker is still an underwhelming game post-patch. The game claims it's simulation, and it does simulation type things like creating a league, realistic physics, and camera angles. But there are arcade things in here as well, like backbreaker currency instead of real money, lack of plays and formations, and a bare bones season mode. In the gameplay department, having things a little bit more traditional would have benefited the game greatly. 
I really do think a Madden type camera on offense would have actually made offense a little bit more fun. I don't know, you be the judge. After the release of the patch, the support for the game was dropped. A sequel was announced for the game, yeah, but it was just another Tackle Alley type game. Since then, Natural Motion Games has just moved on to mobile games and completely abandoned the console market. Even if you go onto their site, nowhere is Backbreaker mentioned in their game section. It's a shame, really. They had a good formula here, they just needed to polish it up some more. But that's the story of Backbreaker. Three and out. Okay, yeah, Backbreaker and the AAF didn't work out, right? But come on. XFL 2020, man! He hate me? The Outlaws? Come on, man! XFL 2020 is the new wave! Yeah, so I've been scrubbing through the footage and I found this logo. That's clearly a subliminal dick right there. I mean, come on, look at that thing. I just wanted to point that out. <laughs> Bye.